the role of the plant-based foods industry and the protein industry in the protein transition is a fantastic opportunity. And I think that the opportunity is there for everybody to um, capitalize on. And what I mean with everybody is that all the stakeholders can benefit from these transitions. Farmers, retailers, uh, governments, NGOs. So it's not so much about what the role is. The question is about what do other stakeholders want this transition to be? Because everybody is uh, working very hard in this uh, business. And uh, there are so many opportunities, but there's still a lot of hurdles. And it's all about taking down the hurdles now to accelerate the transition. So the word acceleration is very important linked to the uh, protein transition. What is the white space for everybody actively involved in society at this moment in time in relation to a protein transition and the fact that we are eating way too much meat compared to what we can afford ourselves in terms of climate and other types of footprints. The white space, in my view, is the opportunity to collaborate. You collaborate together to define a moonshot and then work it backwards together. Who else do we need at the table? We need regulators. We need to talk about denomination. We need to agree on lowering the tax for plant-based food. We need to have campaigns on nutrition at schools and food service institutes. We need retailers to communicate a lot more and have them putting these products in front of uh, the shelf. And also in many cases, lowering uh, our prices to be able to have also a much more affordable product. So the white space is actually all there. The chairs are there. And the idea is now that we have everybody at that table to talk together and to define common goals. That is the white space. The budget that is needed for this transition is, is very, very low. It's all about uh, understanding what are the uh, other costs that is now coughed up by society or by uh, governments in terms of budgets to compensate for nature loss or for climate loss, etc., etc. But in this case, I think your question is related to what's needed in terms of research and development. Well, um, I think if there is a, a budget of 1 billion by 2025, we are just touching the surface. And what I mean to say with that is that this is a very small budget in terms of the gains that we can all accomplish. So it's very important to rethink to rebalance and to really understand what is um, needed in terms of acceleration and then put the budget behind that. But a billion is, uh, is very small in relation to all the other investments that are going into the different industries for climate. So it's marginal in my view.